Okay, so I'm going to do another what's in the bag. Jay, we're in Jay's garden because the, there's a competition at the club today. Uh, so I'm just going to use Jay's fence as a backdrop. Um, there's not much different than last year's what's in the bag. Uh, I've got, is it five new clubs? Well, I have six after Christmas. Uh, we're starting off with wedges. Uh, still got uh, Vokey SM5, 60 degree. Uh, I've had this quite a while now. Uh, this is going to be replaced probably quite soon because the grooves, as you can see, are getting a bit tuned up now and the bottom is a bit wrecked. Um, I'm still at my 54 degree. As soon as Christmas comes, this will be gone. I'm not going to sell it because I've had this a long, long time and I really do love this club. But uh, yeah, so this, this will be out of the bag. It's 54 and uh, nine, degrees of, nine, 9 degrees of bounce. Uh, Mizuno MP10. And the new wedges I'll be getting uh, at Christmas is the SM6s uh, in a 52 degree and a 56 degree, both 8 degrees of bounce and one's an F grind and the other's an S grind. Um, so there we come at Christmas time so I'll be able to do a little video on that maybe or something. Uh, irons, still playing AP2 712s. I, I don't know, I'm, I don't think I can change from Titleist irons after using these, I love them so much. And uh, yeah, so they're really, really good iron. Um, yeah, so they're going to stay in my bag for quite a while until I want to upgrade. But if I upgrade, I don't think I'll be going away from Titleist. Right now, hybrid. Uh, I've still got this Cobra Red Amp Cell Hybrid. Uh, it's just still not out of the bag yet because I play it so well. And uh, if I do upgrade, it'll be after Christmas to a driving iron on a new hybrid, which will be a Titleist hybrid. Uh, this set to 19 degrees, which still goes a bit high in my opinion, but Cobra are meant for launching up. Uh, still got a stock grip on it, um, and it is a stiff shaft. A head cover is a it's called Funk to Golf. I can't remember where I got this from, but yeah, it's just a blue and white head cover. Um, now going on to new-ish edition. I've had this probably about four, four or five months now. Uh, is the tailor-made M2 Freewood. Uh, this is in a stiff flex, 65 grams shaft, uh, with the new blue and black multi compound grip. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know this car. I don't think this is ever going to come out of my bag for a long, long time. Um, I hit it so well. It's great for launching like different shot versatility. It's on 15 degrees, uh, just a standard Freewood. Uh, yeah, and I, I like the colour. Me and Jay were talking about this colour scheme when it came out, obviously Jay's got the M2 driver, we're talking about what well, I said to Jay, how much I dislike this, and then, and then like, it just grown on me straight away, like after seeing Jay's M2, you got the M2 quite early, didn't you actually, um, and yeah, so I, I had to go to something like this, and I tried the Freewood out, and yeah, it's, it's the best club, I hit it so well, uh, just a standard M2 uh, tailor-made head cover, um, now the newest addition to the bag, is at the M2 driver. To so last year, uh, in the what's in the bag, I had the 910D, what was it, D3, I think, uh, in a pink uh, Ordilla NV shaft. And since then, I've um, had the 915 about two, well, about three months after that video come out. And as, as good as I hit my 910, I thought I'm just gonna upgrade to the 915. I'm just gonna hit that same mic, just go a little bit further. And I, I couldn't hit that club. Like, I never really got on with it at all. Um, so about a month ago now, no, about a month and a bit ago, I went to try the M2 out, and I've hit J's like a couple of times. Uh, and yeah, it's a it's a great club, amazing club, and I I love this colour now. Uh, I didn't used to like it. This is in stiff 60 gram shaft with just a standard black multi compound grip, um, golf pride grip. Sorry, um, that's got like two layers of tape or one layer. I'm not sure. I remember what they put on. It's cut down an inch as well. I like all my cup clubs cut down an inch uh, when it comes to the long ones. Except my freewood, that stayed the same. So yeah, that's a great club. Jay got on with it well as well. That's why I sort of went for it as well. <laughs> but um, okay, so this is a club that everybody's been asking about. Uh, is the Scotty Cameron Newport 2 um, 2014 edition. Uh, I had the chance to get the 2016 version, but I wasn't keen on the insert face and the screws in the back at the time. I, like, I don't mind it now, but yeah, so this is 
34 inch Newport 2. I got this for my birthday in May. Um, it's got um, St Andrews Open 2000 head cover on it, which Jay's persuaded me to put on because Jay likes it. Um, I think Dad got it quite a while ago. Don't know where he got it from. I don't know if he got it from. No, I don't think he got it from St Andrews, but I think somebody got it from him from there that went towards the Open. Uh, so yeah, he gave that to me, so I put it on my putter. And yeah, so the new port too. Everybody knows what it looks like, but I I don't know. I I love the look of it. I went from having my in the last video is Daytona Taylor made Daytona a white one, and I I just love the shape of these putters. I mean, my dad's got a um, what's he got? Odyssey Metal X it's number seven. I've been putting with that recently with Jay, and I want to go to it, but I'm on the edge of like Ooh, I don't know because I I, do, I love this putter so much. Uh, it's got super stroke. Uh, ultra slim 1.0 grip on, which I've had on all my putters. Uh, I've never gone bigger than that. Uh, I lose a bit of feel. Uh, and I've got some custom colours on the bottom of mine. I was going to get it sent off to get engraved um, with my name here and here, but I decided to save that. And it's a lot, almost like 120 quid to get it engraved. And the colour paint they were charging a lot when you. And I ended up just doing it myself with special paints. Uh, here you'll be able to see a close up of it now, uh, like blue, red combination and on the bottom change so I can change this color whenever I want I've had to touch this up a couple of times uh, but yeah it's really good and these are 20 gram weights in the bottom uh, each side which I need to change I'm going to change to 10 because I find this a bit heavy and I've taken a long time before I changed it uh, so yeah that's all the clubs like I said the M6s will be coming well they're here now I'm not allowed them yet but I'm gonna have them for Christmas um, yeah, and I think I think that's everything. Okay, so my bag, I'm not going to bother going through it because it's the same as last year. It's still just going to hold it up. It's still the tightest. I uh, don't know what make it is. I've still got the same. I need to upgrade because it's getting a bit wet inside now. Um, in my bag, I just have a um, jacket. It's just the same as last video, really. That's why I'm not going to show you. I still play uh, Titleist Pro V1, uh, Pro V1X. Me and Jay are both debating whether to try a chrome soft, uh, just for you know cheaper. But uh, and in, when I was in Spain, I used the Nike for one round. Nike, uh, what, what make is this? I don't even. I can't even remember. The Nike R two H black is that? I can't really see that under my line. R two H black. It's a hard ball, um, but I got on with it really well. I, I shot a good round with that ball. Um, other stuff, just iPhone tripod for when I film videos. The open scorecard holder that I got when I went this year to the Open with uh, Stenson and Mickelson when um, Stenson won. Uh, yeah, so I, I had to get something to remember going there. <laughs> uh, gloves. Uh, and not much else, really. I just realised I still have the uh, Spain <laughs> card for the route. <laughs> <laughs> also, what's on my bag is a uh, Nikon Cool Shot 6x26.0. Um, yeah, I've had this since my last What's in the Bag, I think. Yeah, I did. Uh, there's no need to upgrade this to like a Bushnell because they all do the same thing. Uh, Jay's got one as well now uh, and he loves it as well, so that's going to stay in my bag. Alright, that's it for my What's in the Bag. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoy. Make sure to like and subscribe and yeah, leave a comment saying whatever. Is Tyler's. So the new video, <laughs> new video. <laughs> so the new, uh, the newest. Why am I saying this? <laughs> oh.